and welcome back. Um, this is the second part of the Dynamics Worksheet 4C3 in the power section. Last video on power got us up to question 10. This video is 11 through to 15. Starting with question 11 now, um, this is looking at different forms of um, transformations. So question 11A says that a light bulb has a power rating of 100 watts. How many joules of energy is being transformed in 20 seconds? So these questions here are a rearrangement of the initial power formula. So our power formula, as we know, says that power, just get rid of my thing around, good. power is equal to the change of energy or the transformation of energy per time. If we multiply the time up there, that means the change of energy is given by PT. So if I know the power that is generated by a system and the time that that power generation is occurring, I can work out the amount of transformation of energy. So applying it to this question, which is 11A, in this question here, we have a 100 watt light bulb that is in operation for 20 seconds. So this is very straightforward. So we have a power rating of 100 times 20, and that will be 2,000 joules of energy that is transformed. Remember, a light globe, its purpose is to transfer electrical energy into light and heat. Oops, that's light, not height, and heat. Okay. So in the 20 seconds, uh, 2,000 joules has been converted into something else. It might be something other than light and heat, of course. There could be other forms that it might be also doing. Let's go on to B now. Um, a TV has a power rating of 145 watts and it's watched for three hours. So what is the only problem that we have here is that the time measurement here is in um, hours rather than in seconds because don't forget that watts is joules per second. So that's the units of watts is joules per second. So you must have um, time measured in seconds. So our delta E, the amount of transformation, is equal to 145 watts times three hours. Now, three hours is three lots of 60 minutes, which is lots of 60 seconds. So there is three hours in our calculation. You just need to multiply that out. Now, don't forget that we are not talking, the answer here will be in is energy. So we want to have this out as joules. So a few moments ago, we gave that as 2000 joules. Don't forget that that could be also two kilojoules. So when you multiply this out, you can, might be able to put it into kilojoules as well. Um, question C, 11C here, has a percentage of the final value being removed. So just have a look at the question itself. Um, a toy electrical car has a power rating of 20 watts. It's transforming 75% of the battery energy into kinetic energy. So what we can do is pretend that it um, does 100% and then reduce it down to 75%. So how many joules of electrical energy does it transform into kinetic energy after three seconds of use? Let's go through that. <clears throat> So um, energy, delta E, is equal to PT. So if there was perfect ideal transformation, this would have the power rating of the toy is 20 watts and it's in operation for three seconds. So let's work out if all of this power is transferred into kinetic energy, what would it be done? So there'll be 20 times three, which is 60 joules. Now that 60 joules, however, is not entirely kinetic energy. 75% is kinetic energy. The other 25% will be other forms of energy, which could be um, heat, etc. Okay. So only 75% um, of this is kinetic energy. So 75% of 60, so 0 0.75 times 60 is 45 joules. Okay, I'm going to kill that fly. Right here, moving on to question 12. 
how long does a motor, here's the question in front of you, so you can do it, how long does a motor with a power rating of 1,500 watts need to operate to transform 6,000? So basically we, we, we be doing the, um, this formula and this time we're trying to solve for T. So if we're solving for T, um, if P equals delta E on T, they're making T the subject, T would be delta E on P. So applying that to our question, we know that the motor has a power rating of 1,500 watts and the amount of energy is 6,000 joules. So this is delta E, and this is the power rating there. So that's 6,000 on 1,500. Okay. By the way, I just got the flow. And that's 16 divided by 15, which is four seconds. Okay. Right, moving on to question 13. I feel a bit of a hero now because I have removed a fly, which was buzzing around my head. Okay, Atlas and Hercules. Okay, so let's hear out. Atlas and Hercules are two car, um, carnival sideshow strongmen. Um, each is lifting 200 kilogram barbells two metres off the ground. Atlas does it in one second and Her Hercules does it in three seconds. Um, which does more work and which is more powerful? So here we're just talking about work and power and what's the difference between them. Well, work would be given, so work is the change of energy, okay? So it's delta K, it's also delta U, it's also force times displacement. So those are the ways I can work out how much work is being done. And in this case, um, it's going to be delta U because we're going to be um, lifting this against gravity. So to work out Atlas and, um, and Hercules' um, amount of work, then delta U would equal mg delta H. The amount of, uh, that they're lifting in both cases is 200 kilograms. They're both lifting it on the surface of the earth, which is 9.8, and they're both lifting it through um, two metres. So they're doing the same amount of work. So they are doing, in both cases, 200, oops, put that down, 200 times 9.8 times 2. So that's 3920 joules of work. So it doesn't matter which of the two is um, lifting, they're both doing the same amount of work. However, one is doing it much faster than the other. They have a different rate. So um, the power for Atlas, PA, would be 3920 divided by how many, how many seconds he does it. He does it in one second. So that's 3920 joules, uh, sorry, not joules, watts. And Hercules, PH, is 3920, but he's doing it in three seconds. So dividing this value by three, he's got 1306.7 watts. So um, who's more powerful? The one with the higher power rating would be Atlas. Okay. Going to question 13 now. Right, yeah, that's the right orientation, 13. Oh, sorry, it's 14. That's, uh, 13 was Atlas. 14. After finishing her uh, physics homework, Samantha pulls her um, 50 kilogram body out of the living room chair and climbs up the five meter flight of stairs to her bedroom and she does it in four seconds. Um, let's work out her work and her power. I will just um, describe how to do this. So Samantha, her work will be delta U and it will be MG delta H. So this is the flight of stairs, which is um, five meters. Even though her the flight of stairs may be longer than five meters, so all this, this is the flight of stairs going up here, it's gravity only works in the vertical and we only care about the vertical displacement. We don't care about how far or how long her flight of stairs were, was. 
Okay. Once you've calculated that, you can work out um, Sam's power um, because it's just delta U over the time taken, and that in her case is four seconds. Okay. Moving finally to Peter and his pushing with a force. This one here, we have um, a force moving through displacement. So this is going to be using our work as FS. Okay. The only problem with um, using uh, Ws and whatever is that we often mix, um, mix this up between work and what. So just be very careful in this formula here, this W here is at work. And at the end of this one, at the end, we can use it as a unit, and that is what. So just be careful of it between those two. So work is Fs. So Peter is pushing a six kilogram mass with a force of 40 through a displacement of 15. Okay. So even though we have a six kilograms um, mentioned in the um, question, it's not needed. So working out the amount of work is 40 times 15, so it's 600 joules. And finally, to work out his power, Peter's power would be um, the amount of energy, delta E, divided by time. And in this case, the time happens, this happens in sec, um, 20 seconds. So that's 600 divided by 20, and that will be 30 watts. Okay. I hope you were successful.